Good morning, and it is a beautiful morning outside my window. It's gorgeous, and I'm able to actually open up the curtains and use natural light for my lighting, except I haven't got the camera facing this way. <laughs> uh, I need to actually realign probably the desk a bit more that way, but then it would look funny in the middle of the room in an angle. So that's how it is. <sighs> Wonderful to be here on a Saturday morning. And we've got Sue being here on a Saturday morning. How are you? I oh, like the lovely sunshine you're using there. And Charlisa, we have Charlisa as well. Beautiful to see you as well. Now, just a reminder that I have this cross-posted to my Rose Boundy page as well as my Hypnosis Plus with Roz page. And it is also on YouTube channel. So you can choose to go to YouTube as a search. I don't think I'll put the link anywhere for that one. But certainly if you're wanting to have your comments showing forward like this as far as the good mornings and uh, responding in the chat, you need, for me to be able to see it, you actually need to be at that link that is the, oh, wrong way, that is mytimetv.live. So making sure that you're on that page. Now, I can't see, I'm still trying to figure out how to get that, uh, to get the show showing on my page, my Ros Boundy page. But for some reason, I mean, I just can't seem to get it doing that every morning, which is a bit weird. Um, unless, of course, I go refresh the page and it might be that it says live started and be there. <laughs> Sometimes I probably forget the simplest of actions that are actually there ready to go, ready to roll. And I think that is exactly what I've got. Hi, Tracy, and I can see your comment there that Tracy is on the show, the Ros Boundy page. I've just got to go back to that. Oh, God, now I've marked that up. Let me just see again. See, it's just that the different ways of doing things on Facebook just so totally, um, well, yes, I do get a bit annoyed at it. So I'm just going to get that sorted so that I can actually see comments that are over on the Ros Boundy and say the hellos. Um, and I've just got to do the mute that button. That's it. So that's easier. Good. Done. And Kathy Schultz, you too. I just saw you popping in over on the Ros Boundy page. You need to click the MyTimeTV.live page so I can say hello. And hello to you too, Sue. Lovely to see you here again. So that's that, that housekeeping. And I've also, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, I was doing pretty good too. <laughs> I had a lovely time with Leanne last night on My Town TV doing our, uh, what used to be the Tuesday's intuitive chat now being Friday's intuitive chat. And it's instead of daytime, it's the evening. So it was great connecting, reconnecting with Leanne again in that show. I absolutely love the time we have. And my golly, was my brain a bit scattery, but it was fun. And Karen, hi, how are you? It's your birthday today. You're looking forward to what today brings. Oh, wow. Well, let's hope that these cards are really going to suit your day. I'm going to swap them around now so that we can see that. Oh, and take off that that um, crawler, crawling text. What we've got, wow. Nice cards, and oh, haven't I positioned that card, that camera really well? You can see the dolphin really clearly. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, yeah, good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Oops, Kirsten, I'm trying to click that button. Good morning, Tracy. Yes, you made it over to this page. Wonderful to see you. And good morning to Amber. Oh, beautiful photo there. Absolutely lovely photo. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, what we've got, and remember this is just a general card spread. It's not an individualised, but the intention is when I put my energy into these cards, you know, I do the clearing, I do the shuffling, and the intention is that it's going to be meaningful to those who see the show for the day, for the cards to be meaningful to you so remember to receive what messages there are within them for you those intuitive little messages that you're receiving from your guidance okay 
So here we've got the dog in the workspace. Gorgeous. We've got the choices card in the home space. Up at the unexpected, we've actually got the young lady here in the work, uh, not work, the your role. This is your role space. We've got the ship and we have the scythe as the outcome. And I really, really like seeing that there. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll explain why in a moment. The dog in that workspace, it really is about the readiness to it, you know, it's just that what what the uh, product is, that what the, um, you know, what you're working towards, what you've got within and around you in your workspace, it's like the, the dog that's waiting to go for the walk at any point in time. It's feeling like there is very nearly that readiness to move with what project you're doing, whether it's that you've got ideas about something that you're making and it's almost at that point you've made the products and you're getting there with the marketing, you're going to get it out there. That's what I'm feeling with this. Uh, or some other form of project, stepping from the corporate into building your own business, that's even one of them. Or doing it the opposite way, which is moving from one, it's moving from one phase to another is what I'm feeling. It's that the, the love of the, the dog that's sitting there and waiting for you in, in readiness, waiting for you to take that step and move forward with the next part of what your work environment has involved within it. So it's even got the ball ready to play there. So uh, taking some of that time off, it's probably even indicating, look, it's time for a break, that you need to have some space in time where you are just going for that walk and that play and looking after that heart centre and what's delighting you in the heart, uh, which can be part of the work environment itself too, don't forget. Hopefully you're working in space and place that is, um, you know, and intention that is from the heart. So here we have the choices card. It is the two stair, well, it's the stairway that then splits into the two choices. And it really is in the home space, uh, things could be moving along really well and you're just suddenly given some choice. And it is a definite choice of one or two because really that's all you can choose. That's what choices is. It's two. You might have multiple different choices, but you're only going to be making one choice. It's this or that. So choose wisely. It's just feeling, uh, I'm actually feeling a little sense of confusion here at my heart centre as I'm looking at it. Um, because there, I suppose because there are times I don't want to make a choice. You just, you know, you're saying that to yourself even before you start. You say, but I don't want to choose. There are those situations in your home space that you're going to have to choose for the day to day. So just sit in your own space, you know, that little bit of energy that takes that moment from that space of love, you know, just sit back in that heart, heart, heart centeredness, you know, lining up and, and just taking a breath and think, <sighs> and then really look at the choice and choose. And it can be that simple even though you get to that point and have confusion and I don't want to's and things like that. It does it, it does feel, well, there's going to have to be. There's no choice about making the choice. You have to make the choice. So that's going to be in your day-to-day -day as well, okay? And it's only you that can make those choices too. Oh, by the way, this is the deck. For those that may not know what deck I'm using, that was there. I usually do that right at the start. So it's the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. I use the expanded edition, but you certainly get, can get that in the um, plain, um, not plain, in the uh, basic set that a Lenneman deck is. Uh, not all Lenemans have an expanded deck. And we've got the young lady in that unexpected. So you see that time, and I feel that this can be somewhat connected with the choices because for you the choice might be at that unexpected point in the day and you're needing to actually reflect on it with a softness of heart. So that's probably why I felt that heart-centeredness around the choice, that I'm just feeling the heart-centeredness around everything this morning. So it's obviously a fairly big part of what the day should be. Connect into your central beingness and uh, think, think upon things before doing. But it's certainly something that can be done 
uh, in those moments of a breath, really, because that's what I feel a little bit, a little bit the breathlessness because it feels exciting. Uh, there's just that excited uh, excitement within me of what the day is going to bring. Uh, even though I'm sitting here in an office and thinking uh, how boring my day is going to be because it is bulk work, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it takes a while with interruptions to do your tax prep, but it's still something to do and get done. I'm feeling the excitement of thinking, knowing that today's going to be the finish of it. I'm just on that tail end and it's going to happen. It's going to be that completion. And I'm feeling probably that that's where this decision here is going to be with the help of that more feminine, gentle energy that you're going to have a really good outcome. And that's because your role in it is really going with what the winds <laughs> dictate. I'm not seeing the travel in this, although this ship card, in and this is your role, this card really is more about the longer term travel and doing, you know, packing a bag and stuff like that. You're actually going on a trip. So you could be doing that today at the start of a trip. Uh, that could well be that that's what you're doing for a weekend. You're going to pack your bag for an overnight stay somewhere for a nice weekend away. Or it could, it just feels like moving with all of these choices, you know, moving forward with what your work is, making that decision around the home. Uh, contemplating in that nice feminine gentle soft energy that you know moving with the, the winds what direction that the wind will take you because that's what sailing is you're sailing with the wind you can't do it otherwise a boat does not move unless it's got the sail set in the right direction in the right way so uh, it just feels like that it's still that movement forward and, and it's going to be an absolutely wonderful uh, you know, you judging, setting, choosing the direction of what you're doing and all that sort of stuff. Like uh, in, my, in my vision, it's just me and my sister in the dinghy doing our, doing our sailing days, you know, we're in the boat. We had an international cadet and it was just so much fun and pretty much I was always the skipper so I could boss her around. <laughs> it was just so much fun. Um, she might think, consider it was otherwise, <laughs> I don't know. But it, it's, it really does feel like that sort of energy and that excitement of getting on towards the finish line and completing. And here we have got the scythe card. As you can see here, the scythe is, here's the, this crop that's being harvested. You know, here already is part of it that's, possibly in hand even though yes it does take a little bit of work to actually work a scythe doesn't do it by itself but what you're doing is harvesting it's actually bringing in those rewards of all the hard work that's been in front of it so and it's not just the hard work because it's also working in with nature because you can't do it any other way if you did it out of the wrong season and all of that sort of stuff it doesn't happen because nature is the one that's the creative growth factor in this instance. And there's things around what we do within our day-to-day -day even that's going to have to be let go from our control and allow the natural way of it being to happen and we can still harvest. It's a wonderful set of cards. I absolutely love these as I went and put them forward, but I love them every morning. I just, it's just something that I, I've, over the last year and a half or whatever it's been, it's just been such a joy to continue doing daily readings. And I love giving this guidance in this way. So I'll continue to do it for as long as I can. Now, and have the technology, of course, because it, this is this method of communicating really is dependent on the technology we use. So, and I'm loving it. Um, now, that is the reading for the day to day. So if you do need to contact me, um, try Messenger first in the Messenger chat on Ros Bounty and that. And, oh, thank you, Karen, for that. Yeah, so very much. I feel my day is going to be full if live and I'm spending it. <laughs> it's live. Spend it with your sister too at the footy and family. Oh, that's a wonderful way to spend your day, isn't it, Karen? And that's a comment on my Ros Bounty page because uh, Karen hasn't found her way over here to say hello in the MyTonTV.live page. Look, it doesn't matter where or how you're actually watching this. I love the fact that I know that you're joining in and that I can at least share some form of giving out what I love doing. 
and that you can also learn from that for yourself if you happen to have a deck of cards or some other tool to just learn to be the best you can be at whatever you're doing, whatever you choose, whatever you're guided to use as your way of living and being that best. So I'll keep encouraging people for that into that direction and even with the types of work that I do in the hypnotherapy and the sound therapy and other guidance with the readings, I do do the paid readings for the more in-depth and detailed reading that's individualised to you. That can be so revealing. And also with a class a session I do tomorrow night and I still haven't prepared myself for actually getting it out there, but I am doing a regular Zoom meeting on Sunday evenings uh, using just the Lenormand deck that is working towards um, practicing and learning more of the grand to blow. Um, <laughs> look, Karen, it is quite okay. I've, I'm getting into the habit of actually just having the chat stream open for the Ros Bounty page. So at least I can comment respond to you as you're putting the the comments in that stream it doesn't have to be shown up on screen like i can do for these like i've got for kathy and for amber look it's it's lovely to have the ability to show it that's what i like the interaction with the be live platform for because it's so easy to use as a live streaming platform um there's others. I do enjoy the eCam too. That's a really great one to use as uh, I've got a Mac and that's designed only for Macs. There's so many different various ways of connecting with people, even just the live stream uh, platform itself that's on uh, Facebook can be used and the YouTube Raw, whatever one that's called. I suppose it's just called a, lot, a YouTube Live. Um so many ways that you yourself too can get out and share what you do. It doesn't have to be card reading. Uh, if you're an artist, share how you do your art processes. It's just wonderful stuff. And I help people do that sort of live streaming, the production side as well. So, and I haven't got that text up, have I? I'm supposed to actually have that sort of thing going. Um, <laughs> you know, as the gurus would say in the marketing systems and et cetera, et cetera. Just search for Ros Bounty and connect that way. But the messenger is the more instant response. And on my website, rosbounty.com.au, there is a little chat button there too. It's called a Tidio. I'm trying that out and uh, in reasonably fast time I get back to it. I'm not in front of my computer as much as I used to be. So sometimes that response might be a little, um, you know, more than the uh, instant. <laughs> so anyway trying all sorts of ways just to be present for you. So thank you very much for you being present here. And I'm going to leave it at that. Continue to be the best person you can be. I'll see you tomorrow morning at the roughly the 8 o'clock. I nearly slept in this morning. And uh, namaste until then. Bye for now. <laughs>